Hi, Hiram here. A couple of days ago, I did a little review on these uh, Charbroil Sure to Burn Fire Starter Packs. Little things that I found at uh, Home Depot. Oops, let's see if I can get one out here. Little plastic packs. They look a lot like. Uh, the Weber fire cubes only flattened. This is one I have out uh, for an exposure test, but it kind of looks like them flattened out and encased in plastic. Since I did that video, I've gotten a bunch of requests to do more on it. One of them was from Yaw Crafter. He said, Hey Hiram, throw one of the packets outside next to the garage for a day or two and retest. So that's what I did. Let's go out and take a look. So just like Yaw Crafter requested, I took one of the packets and threw it out back about a day and a half, a little more than a day and a half ago. It's been raining, pretty much miserable around here. Even though I put it up on this Hypertufa table, it's still been exposed to the rain for more than a day and a half. So let's take this back in and run it through test. Okay, so we're back inside. Here's the packet that I got off that Hypertufa table. It's a little damp. What I'm going to do is just wipe off the moisture because before I took it out, I weighed it and the packet weighed, this packet weighed 8 grams or 0.28 ounces. So I just want to get a weight here and see if anything did change with it. If it soaked up any moisture or whatnot. So I'll stick it on my little scale here, and it weighs exactly 8 grams, so it didn't absorb any water. Okay, so now I've dried it off, but that was just moisture on the outside. Let me put it into a little dish of water here. One of the other requests I got was... Drunken Shooter said, did it stay odor and smoke free right through till it burned out? There wasn't much in the way of smoke, but you did see when I put the pot over it, it sooted up. But as far as smoke, there wasn't really a lot of smoke, if any. But there was an odor. I didn't notice it so much when I was standing here, but when I left the garage and came back in, then I definitely smelled it. Um... Uh, Another one, he said, did the flame stay big through the whole burn, or did it get smaller and smaller? It stayed pretty big through most of it, but yeah, going towards the end as it was getting ready to burn out, uh, it did get smaller. So what I'm going to do here is light this and leave it set here while I talk about some other things. And we'll see how long it burns. I think the other one, the first one I did, burned for a little more than seven minutes. So we'll see what this one does. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just take it out of the water. Now it's got water on it. Let's see if I can light it. It is wet. It's trying to light. Okay, there we go. Let me start the timer. Put it on the plate here. And let's see what that does while I talk about some other things. Uh, Digitizer 101 said, Can you tear one open and see if it is a powder on the inside, solid or liquid, and can it be started with a spark? Now, I did it with a spark the other day where I used, it didn't spark right on this. The plastic just doesn't give the sparks anything to grab onto. It seems to need a flame. But I did put it on a uh, cotton pad. I started the cotton pad and then used that to burn this. Now, as that packet burns away there, you can't see it. 
but it looks just like the Weber starter cubes. It's all white. When you're looking at it in like this, it looks like a solid, glossy piece because it was probably melted into the packets. Uh, on my other video, Day Walker 2 attached a video that he did on some stuff called Landman Firestarter. Except for the name, it looks identical to this. Now he took it and cut a cross in it and opened it up and started it up with a uh, strike force. Whereas the other day, I used my uh, blast match. Should have got cut out. I used my blast match on it. I like this thing. So what I'm going to do is duplicate his a little bit, his video. I've got another packet here. I'm going to open it up like he did. Just cut across in the plastic, peel it back. Now the one thing he did that I think gave him problems is, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, how shiny the surface is. It's very smooth and shiny. He just tried to spark right onto that. I think that if we do this like we did with the Weber cubes, where we put some uh, crumbs here, you scrape it, and yeah, it feels very much like a Weber cube. Just maybe a little more brittle. Okay, so there I have a pile of crumbs on the top. Now, the instructions on the packet does say, do not tear this open. Uh, I remember reading that here somewhere. But they suggest just lighting it just like that and just letting it go to town. But with something like a ferro rod, that's a little bit harder to do. So now I've got a pile of crumbs on here. Let me see if I can start this up. Second try, there it goes. It's putting the crumbs on it that really makes a difference. The smooth surface just doesn't give the spark anything to grab onto. Now we got another one going. So you can see <clears throat> it is still a pretty big flame. I think mainly because the uh, fire starter is all flat and wide. We're still working on four over four minutes on that one. Got to talk a little bit more here. <clears throat> oh yeah, on the last one, when it was done burning, there is a plastic residue left here. I don't know what it might do in a uh, a real fire with wood and whatnot, it might just totally burn away, but I think I would police my fire pit and get rid of this plastic, take it home with you if it's still sitting there. You don't want to leave this kind of stuff out for the critters to eat and get sick on. So, you know, just make sure you police your fire pit. Now, I didn't notice it before, but see, you can see smoke coming off this. Let's see, does it say that it's smoke free? Just says odorless. Doesn't say smoke free. It says non toxic, odorless, compact, and waterproof. We saw that it was waterproof. It wouldn't be waterproof now. I'm sure if I put this in water, it would probably put it out. But the packet, you can have in your pack and stuff, it looks like. You don't have to worry about keeping these dry. Like on my other stuff, I have to surround a Weber cube with wax to keep it watertight so it doesn't dry out or get all wet. Apparently these are just watertight the way they are. Let's see, what else can I say? I guess just to fill up time, 
I can say this is my 401st video. Wow, four, over 400 videos. Not only that, but I have 257 friends signed in. 2,437 2, subscribers as of this morning. And over 2 million upload views. Wow. I just, I'm honored. I mean, it just surprises me that people watch my videos and still ask for more. I want to thank you all for watching. It, you know, it just flabbergasts me. Okay, see how the flames are getting smaller because the... Uh, square whatever is shrinking it's only in the center cube that's still burning but it's still a pretty good flame I mean this would get damp wood going okay seven minutes for this one but like I said there is smoke coming out of this I didn't notice that yesterday but the fumes aren't so bad out in the woods, out in the air, you wouldn't even notice this. But just to be able to get damp wood started, this is nice. And not that expensive. A pack of 12 for $3.95, so I'm not sure how much the uh, the Landman starter fire, fire starter set Daywalker 2 had. His was a pack of 24, but he didn't give a price. Okay, this one's burning a little bit longer. It's going to go to almost eight, or go maybe over eight minutes. Of course, if this was in a fire with wood and the wood finally caught on, this stuff would burn much faster. But this gives you over eight minutes of time to try to get a fire started. I wouldn't use this for cooking. That really sooted up the pot the other day. <coughs> Okay, so let's just call it at eight and a half minutes. It's still burning along. And that's hopefully the Charbroil Sure to Burn Fire Starter Packs. Find, I found this in Home Depot. I would think you could probably find it at uh, any of the big stores. Anybody that carries charcoal burning stuff, especially if they carry the Charbroil. Now I went to the site, it gives the site address here as www.charbroil.com but I couldn't find any information on this there. But maybe any place, any store that carries charbroil stuff just might carry this. Okay, over nine minutes. I mean it's not much of a flame, but it's a flame. So before I bore you to death here, oh one other thing I just noticed here. The range on these packets ranged down, in this case this was 8 ounces, or 8 grams, 0.28 ounces. I weighed all the rest and they ranged anywhere from 7.2 to 8 grams each. So there is a little bit of fluctuation in, in weight. Okay, I thank you for watching. I thank you for subscribing and, you know, asking, becoming my friends. I'm still just flabbergasted by it. I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, just like I got on these. And as always, watch from my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.